One Punch God. Okay, I don't know what this is. Uh, I mean, they don't have Sun, but they have Lily. I guess we just lead Darmanitan again. Like, that's fine. Uh, we can go with Finny Darm? I Lucky Darm's still safer. I think we always bring Zar Finny, though. Sometimes you just gotta go for the obvious play. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, you, uh, you can't... You don't know when to go for the obvious play without it being a best of three for the most part. Because in a best of three, you can sort of, like, gauge where your opponent's headspace is at, right? Yeah, I guess it would be Sunny, sunny Day Sableye. That would be the answer there. But you can gauge where your opponent's headspace is at and then, like, judge off of there. And in best of one, it's, like, impossible to do that for the most part. All right. Volcarona Sableye. Okay, well, I mean, this is actually a pretty safe lead. I just have to not miss. Very easy. Most likely fake out Quiver Dance stuff. What's your score right now, Mox? Dude, I'm doing so bad. I think I'm like 3-5? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I, I just know I lost a lot today. And a lot of it was either completely avoidable, like that last game, or I like missed a power whip, or I got that muddy water thing where I like decreased my accuracy and missed my U-turn. So it's, it's mostly just been a pretty unlucky day. Alright, probably just gonna will o wisp or fake out. Sunny Day, that's still. I don't think that's still the play. <laughs> Alright, don't miss the Sableye. I kinda need this damage. I'll do it again. I will do it again. Uh, I kinda wanna triple Axel in case they wanna go into the. What's it called? The the guy. Get by Quash? It doesn't work. I, I was triple axling there just in case they went into the um the Lilligant. This okay, oh triple axle will do it now on the Sableye. Unless they're Barry. Watch it be Sash Bulk, nah. <laughs> One hit? Really? Okay. Okay, alright, one hit. That's fine. So we do have a lot of options for doing this now. Um, honestly, I can do this, right? Let's go Tapu Fini. They shouldn't go for another priority move. It doesn't make sense. I would imagine they Sleep Powder. If they leave Storm, that's not great for them either. All in Puff? Okay. That's fine. Don't. Okay. Well, this just became a little bit more complicated. Doesn't KO me. Alright. Yeah, it's a little bit more complicated now. Do I need to hold on to you? I think I do. I'm gonna get rid of you too. They're probably not going to quash, so I think it's mainly just a matter of wearing out the, the sunny day.
Withdraw Lilligan. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty cool with this. Just win using your iconic strategy. I don't have enough time to timer stall. <laughs> Okay, can I land a Power Whip? It has once again come down to can I land a Power Whip? I mean, it also comes down to can I stall out Sun long enough to get my Darmanitan on the field and start clicking things. I could just go for the Lilligant, to be honest. Actually, I think I just go for the Lilligant. Uh, and we'll Moonblast into it as well. Because Pollen Puff shouldn't KO me. And I don't think it's going to protect here. It doesn't really make sense to. It, it has protect, okay. I mean, what do they even do, though? That doesn't KO me, yeah. I doubled there just in case I got really unlucky with Triple Axel again. I didn't think it would matter. But uh, yeah, Sun's gone. We're fine. We end up winning with Darmanitan in the end anyways. I just have to get rid of Lilligan. I can't U-turn because it might not KO. I hate this. I hate it here. Palm Puff, that's not going to KO me. It's not even going to come close. Oh, it came close. Alright, we're still fine, though. Because of the berry. That's fine. I just have to KO this. And even then, I get in my Regieleki and I win anyways. Since nothing else speeds. One. Two. Alright, we're good. I'm going to get in Monkey for the sake of entertainment value. Because Regieleki wins in the end regardless. I want to get in Monkey. Brick break. <laughs> Alright, I wonder how much this does. I really wonder. I'm gonna say 75%. Eh, yeah, about. About. Alright, Monkey goes down, Reggie Lucky comes in and wins. I could have helping handed U turn and it totally would have KO'd, but I wanted to use Monkey. <laughs> I wanted to have the monkey stay in at the end of the game. That was it. That was the whole motivation there. All right. The game. Are you doing another Spike Myth Lander next weekend? Because if you are, I can set it up for you. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Same time. Same time. It actually, that actually makes it a lot easier. Like, I can set up the Wednesday, or I can set up the, they're going to be on Thursdays now, probably. Tuesday. I can set up the Tuesday ones. You can set up the, the Sun or the Saturday ones. That'd be, that'd make it a lot easier to organize. Oh, this is kind of cool. Sand Rush team. Uh, I would imagine that the Drake Assault kind of has to have a... It kind of has to have, um, what's it called? I can't think of the move. Why am I blanking on the move? It kind of has to have a uh, Stomping Tantrum. Heatran is actually like super good here if I play it right. Uh, Cresselia too. Actually, I think I go Heatran Cresselia.
All right. Ninetales Garchomp, um, a little bit iffy. This is this is a little bit iffy because if it's Scarf Chomp, we're in a bad spot. I don't know if it's gonna be Scarf Chomp. I think even if it is Scarf Chomp, this is relatively safe. Let's Volt Switch on Ninetales and Rock Slide. Garchomp may actually be a little bit more scared of uh, of Hirsch, uh, of uh, this guy. All right, they stayed in. It's likely Scarf Chomp with that info, uh, but I don't think they KO me with anything. They don't have to like Rock Slide flinch. I'll get in Cresselia here. Nope, not Scarf Chomp. Cool. And I get the flinch. Okay, RNG is on my side now. Arc Desult actually has 100 weaknesses. So it does have a decent amount of weaknesses. Let's do this. Uh, do I want to do that? Mm, it's a little risky. I definitely don't want to stay in with Darmanitan. I'd rather Icy Winds than anything here, to be honest. I was originally thinking I was going to play slow this game, but now I think, like, just Darmanitan Hyper Offense is probably the best option, since we confirmed it's not Scarf Garchomp. Or at the very least, it's... Well, no, it can't be Scarf, because I'm adamant. I was going to say, if it's if it's adamant Scarf, I'm, like, I, I'm probably outspeeding, but no, it's... it's I'm adamant myself. All right, I don't get KO'd by Bolt B, because I'm Cresselia. Eat that up pretty well, too. All right, please connect. This is pretty important. Nice. All right. Protector is pretty much always the play. Icy Wind again. All right, let's see. Cresselia is going to get Bolt Beaked. We should eat that up. If he trained it up, Cresselia eats it up even better. Dragon Claw. I can eat that. I can eat that. No, I can't. <laughs> hey, I, I had hope. I had hope. All right. It's getting Darm. Uh, and I actually kind of want to do something a little crazy here. I don't expect this, uh... I don't expect this Garchomp to let me just hit it. They were just going to let me hit it. Okay, that's not great. Can I KO? I didn't think they were just going to let me hit it. I think I lose off of that play. I was like, no, there's no way they let me hit it. That would just be a throw. All right, it depends. Bolt Beak. And the Lucky. It's 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 probably a loss. Okay, yeah, that's that's probably a loss just right there because the hail is gonna KO me. Dang it! 
I was very certain they were just going to be like, no, I lose my Garchomp and then I lose. Okay, all right. What do I lock into here? They have three Pokemon left. What's in the back? Uh, Do I lock Brick Break? No, I don't. It has to be Lele. That's like the only way I win. And Garchomp is better damage output. No, Chomp use Protect. That's why I was like, oh, well, they would have to Protect. All right, let's do half damage. Yeah, I don't think I win this. It depends. I mean, they could very obviously throw somehow. Tapu Lele, uh, let me think. No, I end up losing the Dragazolt. Because I don't one-shot the Lele and I have to flinch the, uh, I have to flinch it, right? And the Dracozolt's gonna KO itself with Life Orb. I think the only way I get away with this is if they protect the Lele somehow. Or if they miss, like if they went for like, I don't know, is that like a Hypnosis? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I uh, I lost the turn that I U-turned. I was, like, extremely certain they were just going to protect. All right. <sighs> yeah, GG. Dude, we're doing so bad today. It's like embarrassing. 007 VGC. I don't know why I was saying 007. This is a 2017-esque looking team. I remember seeing something like Cresselia, Rotom, not Rotom. <coughs> Actually, no, this is nowhere near <coughs> 2017 because their Sand Setter's bad. We had Gigalith. He was a lot better. Trust me. Trust me, that was it was just a, it was just the fact of the matter. Gigalith was the best uh, sand setter in VGC history. All right, Vinny goes insane here. Uh, they also have no priority moves, so Heatran's Heatran over Zarina seems pretty all right. Bless you, thank you. Sorry, I'm allergic to cringe. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, you can probably get away with Gigalith in this format. It took a lot of advantage of stuff like Heavy Slam, and I'm pretty sure it gets Heat Crash now. It might not, but it gets, like, Heavy Slam is, like, one of the best moves on it, so I'm pretty sure we can get away with it. Oh, blessed lead. Blessed lead. Uh, let's do this. It's a little risky. This is a little bit risky. I don't think they stand with Celesteela. NT Tar might be AV. Alright, let's get in the heat. 
Pretty sure this uh, U-turn should do it. And that did look like AV, judging by the damage. Or I guess it could also just be the sand doing that. Oh, we don't KO? That's kind of bad. That's kind of bad, not gonna lie. Alright, let's see what we get for that. Rock slide, we can take that pretty well. Flash cannon. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's going into Finny. Cool. I want to make a call on Wide Guard. Let's do this. So still protects, that's fine. We should outspeed. Yep. Nice. What's Celesteel's speed stat again? Isn't it like 80? Not 80, it's, it's like... No, no, why am I saying 80? It's like 61, isn't it? Pretty sure it's 61. Urshifu, alright. Rapid Strike, okay, that's what I wanted to see. 2BH, that's what I wanted to see. This is like always safe. And let me see what's in the back. I am scared. <laughs> I'm a little too scared to uh, get rid of Monkey. Let's Heat Wave. Because Urshu goes down this turn if they uh, don't protect it. Surging Strikes, that's fine. We're going to get rid of Urshifu. This is a pretty fair trade. What was your item, Scarf? Because I thought it would be Sash. Then again, that doesn't make sense with, you know, Sand. Should live that barring a crit. Nice. No spit up drop. Leftovers will heal off my Sand damage. Let's go uh, a Lucky here. Okay. Sand should be gone soon. It's not. Dang it. Let's do this. They should protect Celesteela. Even if they don't protect Celesteela, I'm pretty sure I avoid a beast boost here. Sylveon protects, okay. That's an interesting decision. Okay. Uh, that was a little sus, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was- that was a little bit sus. Alright. 
we have to just kind of go all in. Because I don't know if this KOs. I don't think Crash is KO Sylveon. That's the issue. I have to be, like, super careful with it. Now it KOs. It, it effectively comes down to what the Celesteela's um, defense boosting stat is. I mean, I'm pretty sure I two-hit KO it regardless. Okay, Monkey lives. Sand okay, I win. Cool. I don't think we ever lose this without, like, whiffing an Icicle Crash twice. Or them being Earthquake and I whiff. <laughs> Alright, Monkey cleans it up. Cool. I'm fine ending it off like that. Today. Today. As far as RNG went on today's stream, it was kind of iffy. It was it was pretty iffy, but we came out doing okay in the last game, so I'm fine with it, okay?